Hello everyone, so today we'll be solving a question of conics from this year KVPY paper. The problem is that AB be the diameter of the semicircle. We have to find the locus of the center of the circle which is tangent to the diameter as well as the circle. So four options are given to us. One is circle, ellipse, parabola, hyperbola. Let's calculate. So here we are not going to take the analytical view because we'll get the answer quickly from a geometrical view. So if you draw the diagram, if you analyze, we'll get the answer without cal doing anything. Okay, without calculation. So let's say this is our circle and they are asking for the semicircle. So let's say we are dividing into two parts. Let's say AB is B our diameter. Now we have to take one more circle which is tangent to the diameter as well as the circle, semicircle. So let's say this is our circle and let's say the center of this bigger circle is O and center of this small circle is let's say it is capital C. And if you join this with the center until circumference, it will be equal to radius. Let's say the radius is capital R. Here. Now, the smaller radius, let's say it is small r. Now, from my side, I'm going to do something here. I'm going to take a tangent to the semicircle. Here. This is the tangent. From point of tangency, if you join till center, this is also again capital R. And I want you to join the small center C from the tangent. So this will be, this will be, the distance will be, let's calculate here. So if you draw, if you draw up a parallel line here till the center, and if you draw one more line here, this is small r, as you can see. Now again, if you extend till here, if you want to calculate this much distance, this is important. So this much distance is equal to this much distance. These two distances are equal. So this will be equal to capital R minus small r, as you can see here. The distance of the small, the center C from the tangent to the bigger circle. Now this is small r, capital R minus r. And if you see this distance, this distance is capital R minus r. Now if you observe one thing, here are two things you need to observe here. This point, O is a fixed point because it's not moving. The only moving thing here is the C point, which is the center of the small circle. Now our objective is to find the locus of C point, how it is moving, which trajectory it's going to take. So if you observe this O is a fixed point. And one more thing, if you observe here, this line is a fixed line here and fixed line we call this as directrix and fixed point we always call this as focus. Now is it relatable here? We can do one thing here that is the distance of the point which is moving in the space from the fixed point is capital R minus R and the distance of the same point which is moving in the space from a fixed line is capital R minus R. If you observe these two distances are exactly same. These two distances are exactly same. So which definition it follows? So I think here the eccentricity will be equal to one and through our basic definition, this point locus will be a parabola because that is the basic definition of the parabola, a point which is moving in the space in such a way that its distance from the fixed point and distance from the fixed line that is directrix will be equal. So our final answer is parabola and that will be all.